Hello, my loves. Welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria, the creator of Bahati Life Apothecary, professional astrologer, tarot, and intuitive reader. Thank you so much for joining me once again. So just quick disclaimer before we dive into this week's energies, I just want to give you a heads up that a card just flew right off the table. But outside of that, I want to give you a heads up that I did just get a pre another procedure done this morning and um i'm very very sore <clears throat> so i'm going to um just let you guys know so if i sound a little off that is why i thank you guys so much for the love that you've sent me already and the healing energies and vibes i very much appreciate it and i i just am so grateful for you and i'm think i'm very thankful um, have you guys noticed the Hierophant a lot lately? This card has been diving into collective consciousness a lot lately. I think that this has a lot to do with uh, Taurus energy. The fact that Uranus is moving through Taurus just totally disrupting our foundation, establishment, government, um, religions, businesses, big business, right? This was reversed, but I felt like turning it up, right? That was the nine of wands for those of you guys that are wondering. Um, yeah, eyes on Uranus and Taurus. I just feel like a lot of our practices and principles are being di disrupted right now, pulled up from the root, big time pulled up from the root. Okay, strength card. As I'm saying that, we have the strength card jump out and then this card, Wheel of Fortune. Wow, these two wanted to jump out together. Okay. So before we dive in, I just want to give um, some blessing and ask for some protection from our guides. Um, for you that are watching right now or you who is watching right now, I ask for your protection. I ask for your healing. I ask for your guidance, your clarity and discernment, especially when it comes to the readings that I'm about to give to you right now. What messages are you to receive? I put it to your intuition um, to know which one is for you and which one should pass, kind of like the waves of the ocean. Just let them pass, right? Just let them pull out. Like the other thing too that I'm seeing is someone getting, um, I'm hearing like a withdrawal, someone getting, um, it's not bad energy, but it feels like a toxin being pulled out of their system. It feels very, cathartic i'm also feeling this somehow on a wednesday someone getting something like i don't say suctioned out but it feels like i don't know if this is it could even be like reiki reiki work i don't know wednesday and thursday just feel like a good day for something like that that's kind of that's big time what it is that i'm picking up on some pulling out of um energy it has to do with it's definitely not third eye it's definitely not crown chakra it's definitely Maybe a little bit of throat chakra, but for the most part, what it is that I'm getting is solar plexus, root chakra, and sacral chakra. A lot of healing in there, just pulling that out. And it's interesting, too, as I'm saying that, I look back down at the cards, and we have the sun card here, which is connected to the colors of orange and yellow, which again, and red, which connect to the same chakra set as I just mentioned. A lot of pulling, a lot of pulling, a lot of pulling. Um, okay, so spirit guides from the highest lights of the universe, I thank you so much for your presence. I call on you now to give me clarity and to be able to see what it is that you're trying to show, to be able to hear what it is that you're trying to tell, to be able to understand what it is that the story that is that you're telling us for this week. Help us to be prosperous. Help us to be unlimited prosperity. Tap into that energy hardcore. Yes. We give you so much gratitude for this moment here now. And we thank you so much for your presence in our lives and for your you just approaching us and giving us these messages they feel so good for. I mean, they feel good for me. I'm sure they feel good for the collective. Okay, so Spirit, you have some cards that are laid out here. What is it that you want to tell me? A long, long time ago, I can still remember how that music used to make me smile. And I knew that if I had my chance, I could make those people dance and maybe 
they'd be happy for a while. It's so funny because the sun card is here, which is talked about giving happiness. Did you write the book of love? Then do you have... Someone wants to get... I don't want to say someone gets to know you, but someone... You're getting to know something about yourself. Wow. Okay. Come through self... I heard self-attainment, self-actualization, self-mastery. Holy goodness. I was not expecting that. Okay. Someone is getting to know themselves on a deeper level, but it's just like, this is who I am. This is my identity. This is what makes me, me. Good and bad, man. Good and bad. This is like you saying, I get insecure about this or I have a, I struggle with this. And then I'm hearing someone say blasphemy. But the reason why they're yelling the word blasphemy is because it's like you have at this this week, it's like you will not accept or uh, allow your I'm hearing the word attain like you will not allow into your energetic field anybody to talk shit about you or your character but I don't see you fighting about it I feel I feel like you just you know who you are you know your intention you know your vibe you know what you can do so you're taking the quote-unquote good and the bad of you and you're just like, it is what it is. So, and I'm also hearing like something about that. It just sucks out the poison. It sucks out the poison. The biggest thing that has been an obstacle or a barrier for you who is watching this right now is the fact that your own belief system, your own belief about yourself and what you can do. And then when you understood what you were about and what you can do, then all of a sudden you became unstoppable because you knew and you finally understand that you don't need to spend any time convincing anyone of anything that you need to be about, do. Like you don't need to even tell people, this is how I, I you should, how oh, I just bit my tongue. This is how you should define me. This is how you treat me. This is how you hold me. This is what I'm worth. You don't even stay in that space. I'm also seeing red, red, red. I'm seeing red in here, even though you can't really see it. Red, red, and red, right? So in the areas where there's red a little bit, it just feels like something you're moving away from. You can see and sense a red flag from a mile away. Instead of sitting and, and like pulling it apart, kind of like, I don't know why I'm seeing someone. It, this is going to be a really random vision but spirit is always really random and the visions that they give me it's like if someone's making bread and they have like the yeast or something there and they're like merging all of like folding it together in order to make like a hollow bread like specifically hollow it's like you braid it it's like someone put chunks of fruit in there or chunks like you know what's in the bread right so when you uncover it you're like well yeah that's I put raisins in there yes I put um I was like, what the hell else is there outside of a raisin? Um, <laughs> and I put apples in there, you know, like, you know, yes, there's a strip of cinnamon because I put that in there. You know who you are. You know what the recipe is, you know. And then when you peel it apart or when it gets quote unquote dissected or pulled apart, you're like, well, yes, I put that in there too. There's nothing that you can be surprised by anymore. So when you see something off or when you see something doesn't fit in, with the way that it should be, you notice it from a mile away. You said, red flag, pull that out. That doesn't need to be here. Or you get someone else to handle it, to address it. Very empowering, very empowering, very, very powerful. I'm hearing with these nine heads, right? Knock three times on the ceiling if you want me. The song, knock three times on the ceiling if you want me. The the reason why spirit is showing me this is because it feels like I'm hearing the dead have come out, come to play or something has come to yep magician card. So this is you having the power to decide do I allow this skull or this old head this old thing to come tumbling into my existence into my space into my place of belonging my house of whatever. You know, you have a lot of empowerment right now to say, is this something that I want to play with? Is this something that I want to 
deal with after I have I've, I've exerted control over the entirety of the ship, after I've exerted control over the entirety of my life, do I really want to play around when I have mastered, right? Do I want to like open the door to some trivial, lighter, playful energies or do I want to entertain this offering. I'm also hearing the word barbar barbaric. Some of you guys are looking at these um, offerings that are coming in and you see them as barbaric, meaning like you have really hit the root of the core of who they are. And who they are is something that is unpolished, unpoised, incomplete, incompatible, and incapable. Wow. So when you see them, there's a certain refinement about you. There's a certain level of this is who I am once again, and I cannot, I will not muster the energy or the attention that this would require in order to entertain this barbaric type of energies, really, truth, truthfully. And it is what it is. I don't feel like you're going to spend a lot of time explaining yourself. You just kind of kind of look through the people, if you even do that, or you can recognize them by their knock right? You can recognize them how they approach you. You can recognize them how they don't approach you. You can recognize them how they say goodbye. It's something that, or you can recognize how they wrote their proposal to you. You can't be serious that you brought this to me. Take that back. I'm booked. I'm booked solid. My year's straight. Why? Because you didn't come correct. This is something, look at this. I've never noticed this before, but all these like little mushrooms on the bottom. It's like all these little fungi that want to come in and participate in your fun and shenanigans or your business or your prosperity or your growth or this next level of upheeling or of healing. But you don't want to have upheaval. Say less. I'm with you. I get it. Talk to me about the Knight of Cups. Spirit's like, we don't even have to. They know. Well, all right. Yep, Nine of Cups. Someone has been, I heard, drinking and driving. Someone has been having a good time, partying, doing. It's so funny. Like, well, it's not. It's actually kind of sad. I'm hearing do unto others as they will do to you. And you're here, you see that that's not. You're like, um, this is why I don't do, this is, why, this is why I don't hang out with you anymore. And this is why I don't do business with you. This is why I don't show, ask you for help. This is why I don't show up to your table. This is why I don't text you. This is why I don't call you. Because I, I believe and do want to others as I do to you. And I would never do that to you. AKA, the way that you move is not how I would move because our characters are wired differently. So for that reason, you won't find me messing around with you. You won't find me engaging with you you won't find me doing business with you because i will not do to you how you move i will not stoop to that level we cannot work together eight of pentacles reversed this person does not take their work seriously they do not take themselves seriously this is someone who even if they do take themselves seriously they're not capable once again they're not capable of partnership and union they may put on a good a brave face and they may be so detached from reality that they felt that this could work out <laughs> but once you saw how they approached you or once they saw what they were offering or how they offered it something about the details and how someone offers something you knew right away this is a red flag and this has nothing to do with me If this is not directly connected to you, this is someone who is willing and wanting to approach you after time withdraws. What is it I'm hearing? After time withdrawn and pulled away, they're finally mustering the courage. Yep, Queen of Swords. In order, from the clarity that they've gained, in order to steal themselves to do, I don't want to say the right thing, but do you see how all of these heads, right? We have all of these heads pushed through these spikes, right? It's giving me very much Kalima vibes. And each one of those is stringently pushed on to each and every single pull. Each one of those things is something that they or you have mustered the strength in order to complete, in order to help you to move forward. This has a lot to do with disconnecting from people who just time wasters. Empress. 
you are really wanting and you are manifesting currently businesses, relationships, connections, all the things that pour into you and don't give you anxiety. You are so done with the anxiety. You are so done with... And you know what? Let's say you do have some anxiety. I was just about to say, like, I can feel some anxiety here. Let's say you are still dealing with this. You cannot keep, you, you just are starting to feel like I can't continue to um, engage or take on other tasks when I have this huge task within myself that I am mastering right now. There's, I have this huge I don't say obstacle, but this thing about me, like it doesn't feel like a bad thing. Like you're, if you, let's say you do have anxiety, let's say you do have PTSD or you don't trust or whatever this obstacle is for you. We all have it, right? Nine of swords. What does nine of swords, eight of swords look like for you when you close your eyes at night? You know, like what does that look like for you? So picturing that you are going to muster the strength to tame that beast, right? So you can't, you don't feel um open and you don't see the value this week specifically entangling yourself entangling yourself in things when you have something to untangle right here and five of cups right here this may this could be communication with someone something something that feels very important to you that you just want to make it right yes knight of pentacles you want to build it up. You want to, if it feels right, I don't know why I'm seeing bowling pins. Um, someone, like after the bowling pins have gotten knocked down, something comes up and sets them right back up again, and you are ready to, this wanted to come back up, look, five, four of pentacles. This is something that you've been holding on to or something that you're like, you're really asking yourself, you're really asking yourself. I'm surprised the hermit card isn't here, but it's like, if I'm going to hold on to it, this, or if I've been holding on to this, this is showing me that there is some worth and some value here. If I'm energetically been holding on to it for the, for so long, my spirit, my intuition, my vibe is showing me five of wands reversed that I really have been trying to defend and to hold on to this thing. Now, it's going to be up to you this week to determine within yourself through self-mastery is what it is that I've been holding on to or what it is that's been holding on to me. What value does it hold within my life? And if I don't see the value in it, I'm going to have to find a way to work through these kinks so that I can master self-mastery because something feels like it's not working here, right? And it almost feels like it's kind of outside of your control, especially with the Wheel of Fortune here. You've done all that you can do. You can spot and see a red flag from a mile away and you can determine when it's an appropriate time and when you want to open the door and entertain. But there are still some things, if we're gonna have an honest conversation, there are still some things working within you that you need to really muster the strength in order to cool them down, right? So let's say you have, Spirit is giving me the vision of like an infection, right? So you could have everything going on the outside, the house clean, the business going, blah, blah, blah. But if you have something here that needs to be addressed and handled, you got to take care of that, which means that you can't be mowing the lawn while you're going, you know, getting this appointment done. Like you can't be doing this while you have to handle this, right? So this week is, is about self-mastery and self-fulfillment. There's something that you can see and observe or something that spirit minimum wants you to be able to put on your table and say, cancel out the distractions, right? Cancel out the noise. And let's look at this. Why can't you let this go? Why are you holding on to this? If this is a value, then let's start building towards it. If it's not a value and you're still holding on to it, let's go ahead and unwind and unkink because we want you to map you. We want you to fulfill mastery instead of having to fight the good fight with this monkey on your back. And that's your reading for this week. Thank you so much for, I'm just kidding guys. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I love you. We're not done yet. 
the number 1919 is um, striking out for someone. I don't know if that's a specific message. That's not my number, but if it's yours, so be it. Spirit, what else do you want to say? I have the higher wisdom candle burning in the side. Yep. Wow. Fuck. Fuck it up. Interesting. So, my king of swords, where are you at? Comment down below. I almost feel like zooming in. King of swords, people. I need you guys to comment the word sword or um, indestructible. Someone, um, bulletproof, nothing to lose. Far away, far away, ricochet, I don't know if that's the right word, you take your aim, far away, far away, shoot me down, okay, but um, so as I'm looking at this, I am titanium, so someone thought that they were titanium or someone has built a life, a legacy for themselves on this idea of being titanium and spirit is saying when I sit with you at night and I hear your prayers, and when you lay your head on that pay that um, that pillow, I know you're not made of metal. I know you're not made of stone. I know you're not made of brick. You are a soft human being on the inside, and something ain't right. Something here is death card. You're having a hard time letting something go. Can we talk? And it's okay, guys. This is a safe place. In fact, I'm gonna flip my cowrie shell over so you can be receptive and to help you to be receptive of these energies because no one is here to hurt you right no one is here to harm you and i'm gonna like gently approach the topic with care and with caution okay and i'm gonna set the intention that you know that you are in a safe space i'm bulletproof nothing to lose but that's a thing it's like you may have gone through all of the things, right? You may have gone through all of the cycles. The vicious cycles is what it is that I'm hearing. And it's crazy because when I was coming back from shipping off packages and also my appointment, I heard so clearly Spirit saying, the worst is behind us. Enough is enough. And I'm going to carry you from here on out. Not to say that Spirit hasn't carried you before, but there was some level of resiliency as you were taking shot after shot after shot, and I'm not talking about alcohol shots, although some of you guys might go to the bars or partying into letting go of your woes a little bit. Someone here has, has built a reputation on saying, nothing can fuck with me. You can't bother me, na 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 boo boo, I'm moving on from you. <laughs> but the reality is, is that there is some level of emotional impact one of these bullets hits you in the heart okay let's have an honest conversation and you bless your heart have been doing you have mustered up a lot of strength to move forward with this energy of thou shall not fuck with me and i feel you because in some ways i've done it too right what Spirit is saying is that there is something that you have walked away from in the past, and it does not have to be the near past. There's something that you have walked away from in the past, and the hurt still lingers, and this is why you are who you are today and how you show up for the world today. Queen of Pentacles reversed. I'm hearing sustain, sustainable living. I don't know why sustainable living just came through. I feel like spirit doesn't want you with that. They don't want you to. Actually, you tell me, spirit. What are you trying to say? I don't love the words in your mouth. I am hearing the word sustain, but in depth detail. What, what is this? I've been sustaining. Oh, God. I can like feel where this is going. Some of you guys, I'm hearing ripe fruit. Shit. So I'm getting a vision of someone who has a tree, right? Oh, Queen of Swords, we knew it was coming. I'm getting a vision of someone who has a tree. And there's two trees. They have their tree that they work on. They have full sun in their yard. And then they have the neighbor's yard who has shadow, like shade over it. And then they have at the very top of their, this fruit tree, they got like these big, big, plump, ju juicy fruit. I can't tell what kind of fruit this is. 
but it's similar to a mango, but it's not a mango. But the reason why spirit is not telling me the type of fruit it is because it doesn't make a difference because that's not the point. The point is, is that it feels like your circumstances, he or she that is listening to this message right now, that this message applies, it's like your circumstances, you've been doing well with what you've been given, but regardless of how you water the tree, regardless of how all the energy and the fertilizer that you can put in, it's almost like you put the fertilizer down and somehow the sun, instead of nourishing it, burns it, right? Instead of you watering it, somehow it stays above the soil and floods the, floods the root. So it's just not, it's like no matter how you work this, you know, tree, it just doesn't. Meanwhile, your neighbor barely is home. Constantly vacationing and their fruit, their tree bears so much fruit, it literally falls into your yard and rots. And for whatever reason, you just can't get it going. And this is what spirit is showing is that you have been sustaining with what has been given to you instead of being listening to the advice and the counsel in order to say sometimes the grass is greener on the other side and sometimes you got to be uprooted. And sometimes you have to cut your losses and sometimes you have to say goodbye and sometimes you have to let it go and sometimes you have to start over and it never seems fair. It never does. And we can, quote unquote, ace, ace of swords, we can say to ourselves all the time things that are cliche. But if we don't believe them, does it even matter? There's a spirit, there's a spirit within you, this, this like little seed that I don't know why I'm getting like a little fairy, something that sings and is playful, that it's like she wants to sing, she wants to be proud, she wants to show up, she wants to have love, she wants to be vibrant, she wants to be creative, she wants to be celebrated. And the more that time goes on and the more that these clouds come by, the more she feels like she's losing her voice. Or the more you know, apply it to the male. Like if you're a man and there's something that you said goodbye to that when you said goodbye to it, you were not the same from that. And you've been sustaining up until this point, but it feels like it's not enough. It feels like it's not enough. And spirit, forgive me for saying this so bluntly, but this is the message. The lesson in all of this was to show you that you did in fact need more. And the reason why we want you to show you that is because you have been so vulnerable and so strong in, in, in protecting your vulnerability that you would not even allow yourself to consider the fact that there might be, you might have to open up to the potential of being even more vulnerable for you to attain this rip, rip ripe ripe rich fruit once again but so many of you guys said i'm bulletproof i've got nothing to lose fire away fire away and the reality is is like you shouldn't be taking these shots i'm nervous to see what this is king of cups <laughs> and good night no i'm just kidding so five of uh, king of cups Did i say five of cups i meant king of cups so King of Cups is he who is unafraid to explore the depths of his emotions and his feelings and to not guard them, but to embrace them, explore them, be about them, know them, know that there is something worthy and worthwhile. How do you go from King of Swords to the King of Cups? How do you do that? How? In the next seven days, y'all are going to figure it out. Yes, ma'am. You're going to go from cold and icy and I'm bulletproof to I'm warm, I'm open, I'm receptive, and I'm here. And I want that for you. Because as spirit keeps telling me in the back of my head, like a broken record, enough is enough and no more sustaining. Even if you were bulletproof, I didn't create you to take these bullets. Magician card and two of swords reverse. Spirit says, come to me, all ye who are wary, <laughs> is what I'm hearing, and bring me your baggage. Bring me their heads. Tell me who hurt you. Tell me where it hurts. Do not keep this away from me any longer. I'm here to make it right. I'm here to make it better. Did you see how 
at the start of this reading, this beautiful shell, which was not here to begin with, guys, I felt really called to bring this shell out. It started from being closed off and face down to face down, ass up. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. As a spiritual teacher and spiritual worker, it's essential for me to have a sense of humor and to have play and fun, but for real. So this carry shell went from face down to ass up. <laughs> and basically what this is, is the universe. <laughs> I love you guys and I feel safe to be able to make these jokes with you because we're family at this point and I have no desire to censor myself any longer. Um, this is universe ready to just pour all of its goodness into you, right? And this is going to be a gentle, intimate, loving, deeply cathartic concentration of healing and love and compassion and grace that you are long overdue for. And you know what I think is so beautiful about this? I don't think that you have to do anything in order to receive it, you just open up. You show spirit, you show God, or show the divine where it hurts. You show the divine and you show spirit how enough is enough and you don't want to sustain this way of living or feeling or being any longer. And like a balm, oh my goodness, it, they will take you back. Like a balm, they will take you to the root. Like a balm, they will heal it and make it better. Like a balm, they will hold you. And, and if you allow yourself to be held, like a balm, you'll be taken back. Spirit, talk to me about the Six of Cups. If they go back to the root. They go back to the root of healing. They go back to where it hurts the most. They go back to where the potential was once lifted. Look at that. Ten of Swords and the Tower card. This is the root of where it began. This is where it uh, it all said goodbye. This is where it all ended. This is where it all went left. This is where it all went haywire. This is where things rallied out of our control. This is where we lost control of the ship. This is where the car flipped. This is where the conversation ended. This is where they walked away. This is where they never came back. This is where fill in the blank. And spirit says, if you show me once again where that hurt and that ache and that suffering is, I promise to restore it and make it better. I just need you right now to open up and let me in. I'm also hearing, hearing spirit say that I, I'm going to, and I am putting everything back into order, back into place. And anything that was once lost or taken away from you, you're going to be able to understand why it had to happen the way that it did. And the, the lesson and the answer is not going to be, oh, it's because it had to teach you a lesson. Because the truth is, is that not all good or bad things teach us lessons. Sometimes that's a way of sugarcoating the truth and stopping you from asking the question, why? Power card still wants to come here. Okay, King of Pentacles, Empress, the Tower card, and the Page of Pentacles reversed. Hold on. Change is coming. <laughs> Hold on. I don't know if that's a real song, but that's what I'm hearing. Change is coming. Hold on. Change is coming. Yes. Wow. Thank you and good night. Yo, let's get this good energy going in the name Jesus. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to ring these bells. And if you don't like the sound, just go ahead and lower the volume in three, two, one. That wasn't so bad, now was it? One more time.
right, so I know you see it, because how could you not? We have the Devil card here. We have the Lover's card reversed here. We have King of Pentacles reversed. We have the Empress. We have Ten of Swords. We have Queen of Cups. We have the Tower saying peekaboo. We have Six of Cups. We have Page of Pentacles. Now, what this is telling me and the final resolution I want to get this right, so I don't want to rush through it, because why do we rush, right? There's no need to rush. What I'm hearing spirits say is, I have chosen. I'm hearing mistakes have been made, and enough is enough. I have chosen and I think what's going to happen is that you're going to revisit the decisions that not only you have made in your past but also the decisions that others have made some decisions and choices made quote unquote for everybody's better good but it feels so fucked up because it totally neglected your needs your wants and what you really 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 fucking needed at that point that time it's like why you chose that but like you did that in jest because you thought that was the right thing to do but you don't realize how much of a fucking impact that had on me your choice and your decision is something that I feel like I have to live with for not the rest of my life but it's been creating a lot of ache and pain and suffering within my own being and I've been having to work myself out of that devil from the things that you have decided we're on everyone's, you know, best interest. You fucked me over when you made that choice. I haven't been the same since then. Now what? There's this level of like ache and anger and frustration and disappointment that bubbles over and brews over into places that spirit doesn't want you to find keep punishing at you in different ways. They want to really heal this space so that you don't have to feel it any longer. It's funny how the King of Cups showed up first in order to protect and guard you, and now the Queen of Cups is showing up now to nurture and support you. There's a part of you that needed to be guarded and felt neglected and felt vulnerable and felt like they weren't chosen. They were left out. They were sitting on the side of the road. They were waiting for someone to come back. And now this week, Spirit is saying, this is where I come to you and I fix where it's been bruised and barren and broken and battered and beat down. And I will make it better. And I will fill that space up, not with what was taken from you, because we can't, quote unquote, make that better because that's already happened. But what we can do is fill you up with all the different ways that you will know that you will know who you are now and others will know who you are and others will see your value and other people will be very capable and other people will see the worth and they will pour into you and it will act as confirmation and you will recognize that this is who I am and this is how I am to be treated and this is how the world should turn and this is how the you know mistakes were made but this is how I pick up the pieces and I'm not going to walk out of this broken. In fact, I'm going to walk out of this better. Somehow in this healing this week, I am to be made better. Somehow everything that was once taken from me or was once a disadvantage now becomes my springboard. And there was a time when I wanted to give up, but I didn't. And because I didn't, I'm going to be successful and I am successful and I will prevail. When you invite spirit in, when you work your magic, when you set your intention, my loves, look how all of a sudden Queen of Pentacles wants to jump right, jump out upright. And she's just like, speak, honey. <laughs> she knows she gets it. I'm the Queen of Pentacles too. 
I'm Queen of Pentacles and Nine of Pentacles. Okay, we know who we are. Ooh, okay, Emperor. I'm going to put him right next to the Empress because they belong together. Nine of Cups is here. <laughs> Two of Wands, King of Swords. You know who's lost right now? The King of Swords. <laughs> this is that part of you that's been like, this is the part of you that's about to be abandoned. Okay, because I don't know if this exists in every single person, but it's existing now. Lucky are he are they who do not understand King of Swords reverse or upright energies and same with Queen of Swords reverse or upright. But the King of Swords energy that's within you, that barren child that says, who am I? Now it's like, well, where do I go? He's got to go. This energy of King of Swords and anything that matches that right now, at least for this week, let it go. Let it go. Can't hold it on. And I don't know the words. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> Four of Wands reverse, my loves. Look, Chariot and Nine of Swords. The World card. Yeah, this is something that you've been holding on to that you just, it's like, time to let it go. Here I stand. Someone's about to get their voice this week, honey. Honey. Okay, Nine of Swords and the Chariot. Right, this is all of these different sides of you coming together, working together, and just being like, and now we're moving forward. Okay, any last words, Spirit? Cold never bothered me anyway. But that's the problem, King, kings and queens of swords. If you're in the cold for too long with the higher font, it's just time to thaw that out and get on a tropical beach a little bit. And it's okay. Just put some sunscreen on. Put on some chapstick. Get a nice sandproof blanket or towel. Get your toes in the sand, fill your, your bucket with water, mist yourself down every once in a while with some rose water, orange blossom water, whatever you got on hand, and just vibe. When was the last time you had a, um, a soda? <laughs> I'm just kidding, but whatever it is that's for you guys, whatever it is that's for you. Six of cups, someone definitely wants to come in from the past. I mean, it just keeps showing up. Or you want to go back to the past or you want to heal the root. I just feel like this is new something being established and thank God for what was lost. Oh, yeah. It's like you were doing all these different remedies and like nothing worked out. And now all of a sudden spirit this week is going to tell you this is what you need to come. This is what you need to bring to me. And then then this is how you fix it. Yep. Ace of Cups. Open your heart. King of Cups. <laughs> Ace of Swords. Last words. All the same cards, only upright. I just saw the Ten of Cups, but Page of Swords. Who's, who, who, who? This makes me want to chase it. That's fine. King of Pentacles and the Tower card. Interesting. Conversation with the King of Pentacles might be happening. So that's Taurus. Um, I almost said Cancer. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but also Cancer because I felt like saying it. Nine of Cups. Something will make you happy. All right, my loves. I am going to end on that note. Don't forget to keep going, okay? If you need me, I'm legit working in the apothecary. That right there. Is some of my manif magic manifesting. This is the higher wisdom candle, which you light at your altar and you ask spirit exactly what you need to see here now or your gifts that you want to like strengthen all those things. What do you need for your third eye, right? What do you need to strengthen and support right now so that you can be able to connect with spirit even further as far as downloading those messages for yourself or for others especially if you're a reader or intuitive like me it just feels good to just like know like have that third eye knowing it's so funny like i i will be out and about during the weekends i mean this is the best example like i'll be out and about during the weekends just kind of doing what i do best just having fun you know well, I'm not so good at that, but I'm getting better at it. And um, I'll literally be like, 
ding, time to go. <laughs> ha, pocket. No, seriously, but like, I will literally know it is time for me to be out. Star card and then the devil card. And when I tell you, I'll say goodbye to all my friends. I don't even question anymore, but I'll say goodbye to all my friends. And then they'll be like, yo, Jess, right after you fucking left, dude, this happened, this happened, this happened, this happened, this happened. And they're like, how did you know? And sometimes they'll say, oh my God, we have so much fun doing that. And I'm just like, yeah, glad I wasn't there for that. Cause there's no way I would have found that fun. But like, I'm glad you had fun, but that's not my kind of fun. <laughs> we all have different demons, right? <laughs> so it's like, you do you boo. Cause I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna pray and I'm gonna sit outside and it's just enough energy for me to like collect, 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 have fun. And then I go to my backyard space, which you guys can see right here. And I grab my crystals and my candles and I give gratitude for the ability to even have that moment. <sighs> And then I allow universe spirit to pour into me and talk to me. And I just tell spirit about my day and what I liked and what I loved and what I didn't like, and what I didn't love and like what happened and like this and that. And then I hang out with my chickens and I hang out with my dogs and it's balance, baby. It's balance. Okay. So I say all that to say, I don't know why I'm saying that. Um, clearly we got some storms coming, which fingers crossed, I hope. Um, I say I'll say that if you want to work your magic, you can find me in the apothecary, of course, per use. Um, fix candles, intention oils, all of those things are done at specific times of the day or specific times of the week. Um, I'm sending you all, all my love. I don't have an affirmation for you guys this week. I really don't. So let's see if... Um, I don't know why I heard I am growing. No, it's I, I have grown. I have grown. I have grown. That's the affirmation. I have grown. Something tells me that this is not just you, but this is another individual. Yeah, somebody who's been on ice. Well, God bless them. All right, guys, I'm sending you all my love. And until then, I will see you in my next video. Make sure that you're following me on here, YouTube, but also I've got a TikTok. Uh, or just go and go off, you know. <clears throat> I'm sure you can turn on notifications for both of those platforms. Or you can find me on Instagram at Bahati Life. Make sure that you are screening for those um scam artists because they stay scamming that's what they do that's what they do i don't judge them anymore but i don't like it but i don't judge them because you've got to be desperate in order to like it doesn't matter i'm going off on a tangent i love you guys i'll see you guys in my next video i'll talk to you later bye